Welcome back everybody to what I think is the second to last video a part of Game Raiders week two We are here. We're gonna be checking out a mod here that can change the game Now this mod is very very small But there's one thing that this mod does that can help so much late game It can help so much mid game It really is game changing in terms of how it helps the player out and how it just makes some certain things really easy to do So the first thing you need to do for this mod you need to have the goblin tinkerer and you need to have the steampunker these two have to be moved in so yes this is a hard mode npc once those two are moved in a little npc by the name of the gnome wordsmith will finally be able to move in now you may be like game readers what does this little dude do he's actually not that little he's kind of he's kind of as tall as me god damn how yeah inches on that hat but yeah the wordsmith he does one very specific thing and this thing helps out so much in terraria and i always thought they should overhaul the system what he does you talk to him and you can reforge maybe like the goblin tinker you can reforge with the goblin tinker check this out we're gonna take our excalibur we're gonna put it right here and look at this look at this this smithable prefixes we get the choice of godly and legendary but the price is high so nobody could be like gamers this is a cheat mod the rng and your shitty reforges are supposed to be part of the game mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I've been saying in streams and stuff that they should really overhaul the reforging system because who likes wasting hard earned money? Am I right? But look at this. We have the choice of godly for only 97 gold and we got the choice of legendary for only one platinum. Prices are expensive. Honestly, they're kind of the price of what you would pay just reforging randomly and you get one of these. So it's actually not even that cheaty at all. Cheaty? Is that a good word? Legendary Excalibur. Yeah, I want that one. Thank you. So we spend the platinum and however much gold for it. It even works on modded items. For example, the Abyssal tome from calamity we got godly abyssal tome or mythical boom let's just keep on putting them in here a hollowed repeater godly unreal of course unreal the better one skeleton staff which is a summoner weapon of course you want ruthless right is ruthless the best one is there isn't like mythical the best one for these but yeah there you go it works on that stuff a nice way to kind of save some money if you have really bad rng which i find myself having terrible rng all the time especially for accessories now when it comes to this npc and accessories you get all the choices all the choices you get warding the one that i love the most the one that i always get the one that i actually never really get without you know having to reforge like 20 times and going through like 100 gold a platinum you know how it is arcane lucky avenger seal i don't know why i'm saying the whole name now there's menacing there's quick there's violent i don't know why the lucky is only a two percent critical strike chance probably calamity nerfing it honestly wouldn't surprise me but yeah i want warding i don't know why there's a plus one damage reduction either don't don't ask why i don't know what mod does that boom i want warding again thank you sir how much are we spending to get warding on this we're only spending a platinum and the 72 gold that's not bad at all you no know, it's way better than having to pray to the rng gods that you get something but yeah this dude he does a little bit more than just sell that stuff he's really running is there somebody nearby is there an enemy nearby no he just wanted to run but yeah he has a little bit more and uh, obviously this mod is an npc is multiplayer friendly so if we talk to him and go to his shop he sells fallen stars which are always nice and and he sells portable wormhole teleports you to a party member or town npc great item right here i think this is a infinite uh, wormhole thing which is really good for multiplayer and like i said you don't get this guy until hard mode you have to have the steampunker npc so that means you have to also have a mech boss defeated in the world so i think this npc is got a perfect amount of balance a part of him uh what the hell is that click on an npc's head how come i can't click on the steampunker's head who knows oh you can only click on his head Okay, that's good enough. That's good to know. It, it does say or town NPC, but obviously, look, you, got, you can hear the clicking, right? It doesn't work on other town NPCs. Only works on him. But still, who the hell uses wormholes to teleport to town NPCs? They use wormholes to teleport to other players. But yeah, this mod, in my opinion, is super game changing. It helps so much. You can save so much gold to buy, you know, weapons, items, arrows, whatever you really need to buy. You know, you don't have to be farming all the time. Obviously, you got to farm a little bit just to get the right reforge, you know, because that price is pretty steep. And that's why I think this is a really game changing mod in terms of the money and economy part of terraria it's gonna help out a lot it's gonna help out a lot so this might have seemed like a short little video mm -mm. i got some more coming up get ready jump cut go Sh cut cut the fucking video all right since we are on the topic of money and economics in terraria we got a mod that's gonna help out a little bit more it's called better taxes now what it does is it buffs the tax collector now this guy in my personal opinion definitely needs a buff only 10 gold at a time 10 gold he can collect 
collect and hold on to and it's in hard mode that's really cheeks as they would say but with this mod he gets to cap out at 10 platinum rather than 10 gold i have all the info pop up on the screen at some point in time but yeah it's way better the more npcs you have the more money he you know collects per minute per well, however long per tick whatever the hell it is in terraria so we have a lot of npcs meaning that his money should be going up fast he's at 65 silver all right let me sit here for like five uh, or maybe not five minutes let me sit here for like a minute and then we'll check in how much he has All right, it's been about like two or three minutes. The footage will be sped up so you can see me sitting still because that's really interesting to see. Hey, how much money you got? A gold and 85 silver. That was like two minutes. That was like two minutes. Now, imagine if you can only cap out a 10 gold, how ass that would be. Great mod, game changing, more money, less problems, or is it more money, more problems? I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed this little, I guess it's a pretty short Game Raiders Week 2 video, but our finale is tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. That's going to be the whole week. It was Wednesday to Wednesday and i know you guys may be sad like oh no we're losing these videos these videos are bangers no you're not losing these videos we're gonna be posting a bunch more throughout the weeks upcoming weeks throughout my youtube career because these videos seem to do really good and i appreciate all the feedback and your and your guys's viewership and I, I love you guys no homo again unless you wanted to be that's fine i guess